Hello, hello, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I create these extra, extra long groovy nails. I use these, um, I use these. I created this set using the purple McCart poly gel kit. And friend, these look amazing. So if you want to learn how to create extra, extra long, gorgeous, bougie nails at home, please stick around. But first, I would like to share my little haul with you. So I ordered a couple things from a cart. I ordered the purple poly gel kit. And I also ordered the the purple. Oh my gosh, I'm about to say purple again. The pink poly gel kit. And I got this weirdo little dolphin lamp. It's called the Dolphin F2, I believe. I forgot what it's called. And I also got uh, the rhinestone gel kit. Or the rhinestone glue gel kit. I heard it was really good. And I also stocked up on my favorite top coats. My matte coat and the shiny top coat and base coat. Okay, so now I'm going to open everything up because I love watching people open things up and I hope you guys do too. And this is what the inside of the purple poly gel kit looks like. By the way, I bought everything with my own shmoneys. I just used my code Vanity Valencia with three A's uh, for 20% off of my purchase. And if you guys want to use the code, you guys could also get 20% off of your purchase as well. So yeah, Vanity Valencia with three A's at the end. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Um, Here I am opening up the pink um dolphin lamp. Look how weird weirdly shaped it is friend and this is how you um charge it you just plug in the thing at the end and you just bop the little round button at the top and it turns on by itself and you could just like set your gems without holding it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> this is my first time using it well anyways uh now let's open up the glue gel kit so it comes with two glues and a brush this is um the regular like runny glue and this is the thick glue for like 3d gems and it comes with this brush however i'm not really a big fan of the brush because it is a little wide and i like a little bit more precision with my um with my glue brushes i like them to be a little bit more skinnier so that the glue doesn't go all over the place and this is what the top coats look like like i said it comes with a uh, matte top coat it comes with a shiny regular top coat by the way mccart makes the best top coats ever i will never go back to any other brand of top coats because it is so shiny and it dries super duper fast and that is the base coat <laughs> and now let's open up the pink poly gel kit actually you know what i'm not going to open up the pink poly gel kit i actually I want you guys to give me some ideas down in the comment section down below on what we should do with the pink poly gel kit please let me know and i will open it up in next week's tutorial so let's go over what's inside our purple poly gel kit so these four tubes of poly gel are in our kit and a top coat and a base coat is also in our kit this really beautiful purple file is in our kit and this little double-sided spatula slash brush is in our kit and this like nail cleaner is in our kit oh and we can't forget these dual forms however i don't really like these because i like my nails to be extra extra long so bye and yeah let's get started boo boo i'm hella excited by the way i already swatched uh, the colors these are the three purples and i didn't swatch the clear because i pretty much assumed that you guys already know what the clear looks like and yeah i really really like the lavender one right here and i think that's the color that i'm gonna be using for today's look and by the way my nails are embarrassingly short because i have been biting them down to the nub brand if you guys have been watching my last videos you guys know that i'm in the middle of moving and the anxiety of the change and everything girl it's been stressing me out but anyways let's get our cuticle pusher ready and let's push back our cuticles because we are trying to get rid of all the dead skin around my nails prep is everything when it comes to applying your nails friend so get rid of all that dead skin push 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 back all your dead skin and this is what your nails should look like once you're done pushing back the dead skin and once you're done pushing back all of your dead skin, take some cuticle clippers and clip off all of the excess dead skin on your nails. Okay, and now that our dead skin around our cuticle area is nice and clipped, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my purple file that came in the poly gel kit. And I'm going to buff the tops of my nails like so. Now, when I buff the tops of my nails, when I first start buffing them, I like to focus around the cuticle area because because i want to make sure that i am buffing off and getting rid of any excess dead skin or cuticle skin that i might have missed when pushing it back with my cuticle pusher if that makes any sense and then i go ahead and i buff the rest of my nail and once i am done buffing the tops of my nails i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to grab some rubbing alcohol and i'm just going to clean my nails to make them nice and dehydrated 
And now my little dehydrated nubs are ready for some extra, extra long tips. And I got these tips from Amazon. If you guys are curious, I will be linking them down in the description box below. And what I do when I first apply them is I like to clip them down because they are a little bit long for my little nubs. And you do not want the tip to cover your whole entire nail like a full cover. You do not want water to slip underneath there and give you the greenies, aka fungus. So once my nail is nice and clipped, I apply a nail glue to the back of it. I use the Nick One Nail Bond also from Amazon and I make sure that it's nice and straight and then bloop, I put it on my nails and look how nice and long they are. Ew. And I'm going to chop them down just a little bit with um, these nail clippers. And once I am happy with the size, now we are ready to blend in the fake tip into our natural nail like so. So you just want to lightly blend in the nail into your natural nail like so. So it should look like this. And once you are done doing that, you're going to wipe it off with some uh, rubbing alcohol again to just clean off any excess dust. And now we are ready to apply our base coat. Actually, I lied. No base coat. I hella forgot about this. Uh, this is like the nail cleaner that came in the poly gel kit. And I'm going to apply it onto the tops of my nails now. <laughs> my bad i totally forgot about it since i'm so used to using rubbing alcohol and this is what they should look like afterwards and um this nail right here has a crack <laughs> i'm just gonna ignore that and i'm gonna pray that the poly gel covers that up and fixes it <laughs> and now i am going to grab my base coat and i'm only going to apply the base coat on my natural nails Oh, and when you're done applying uh, your base coat on all of your nails, uh, don't forget to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds, okay? <laughs> and uh, I actually went ahead and I decided to practice with the purple poly gel kit on my pinky off camera. And to be honest, I uh, really, really, really enjoyed using, uh, not top coat, by the way, my bad. I actually enjoyed using base coat. Uh, you guys left comments on my other poly gel kit tutorial telling me to use base coat as my slip solution. And at first I thought you guys were crazy because I was like, what the heck, base coat? I felt like that would only make things even more stickier, but it actually worked worked a lot better than alcohol so as you guys could see i created like a pea size blob around my cuticle area and then i slowly dragged the rest of the poly gel down my extra extra long nail like so and now i'm going to grab my little brush and i'm going to dip it into the slip solution I put the little slip solution in this little clear container. I got these at the 99 cent store and then i just got to patty i don't really have a special method when it comes to applying poly gel but what i do do is is i focus around the cuticle area and i try to flatten the pea size blob that i made and once i have flattened down the blob and i had and i've made sure that it covers the whole entire cuticle area um, i start dragging the poly gel down to the tip of my nail i don't do it really really fast though as you guys could see i'm just tap 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 tapping to make sure that everything is nice and flat and then i drag color so i tap 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 and then i drag
Okay, friend, so now that I have covered my whole entire nail with a layer of poly gel, I am going to dip my brush into the base coat one last time and i'm going to try and smooth out my nail to make it as even as possible and while smoothing it out i'm going to scoop off excess amounts of poly gel off of my tip um i don't really like it when my tips are bulky it makes my nails heavy so i'm going to try and make my tip as skinny as possible well not hella skinny but you know just not hella chunky because you do not want heavy nails <laughs> Okay, and once I'm done thinning out the tip and making it as even as possible, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a little brush and I'm going to dip it in rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, whatever you guys have. And I am going to clean around my cuticle area because I did get base coat all over the place <laughs> and once i'm done cleaning up my cuticle area, I'm going to stick my nail in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, and now that our nail is out of the UV lamp, I want the color to be a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to start by squeezing a pea-sized amount onto the cuticle area and then dragging it out all the way to the tip just like we did in the beginning. And then I'm going to get to patting and I'll let you guys watch. Okay, and now that I'm done patting my little nail to perfection and I feel that it is smooth enough, I am going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And once we are done nuking it, I am going to grab the purple nail file that came in the poly gel kit and I'm going to file the sides to make sure that they are nice and straight and they aren't bumpy. And then I'm going to file the actual nail with the file as well. I'm going to file it like this. And uh, the reason why I'm going to be filing it like this is because I want to get rid of any um, bumps. I want to make sure that the nail is nice and smooth. And yeah, I just don't want a bumpy nail, friend. So I'm just going to buff, buff, buff until I'm happy and it is all even and smooth.
And when I'm done buffing the top of my nail with my nail file, I'm actually going to go ahead with my purple buffing block. I got this on Amazon. I will be linking it down below. I'll be linking it down below if you guys are interested. And I'm going to buff my nail again. This is just going to make your nail much more smoother. Um, it will get rid of the texture that the nail file left on your nail. And then when you're done buffing it with the purple buffing block, clean off any excess dust with some alcohol. And this is what your nail should look like once you are done done doing all of that voila friend look how pretty it actually looks really really nice matte but i really want my nail to shine bright like a diamond so i'm actually going to go over it with the clear top coat that came in the kit and i'm just gonna paint my nails and then put it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds And this is what I know should look like once we have taken it out. And now I'm going to work on my thumb really, really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so for some weirdo reason, I didn't record the finished product shot of my thumb. So my bad. I guess I'll just show you what it looks like later on in the video. But right now, I want to show you guys how I created this beautiful glitter confetti finger. Um, so I started off by getting some base coat. Apply a nice thin layer like so. And when you are done applying your base coat, don't cure it, friend. Don't cure it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crystal pickup tool and a small thing of water, like a small little container of water. I used a water bottle cup and I grabbed my glitters. I got these glitters from AliExpress and I will be linking them down below. So in order to create the little um, confetti slash glitter nail, I am going to be grabbing my crystal pickup tool and I'm going to dip this little metal tip into water. And then I'm going to pick up my large pieces of glitter. And I'm not going to pick up the small ones. I'm only going to pick up the large ones. And I'm just going to be placing them all over my nail. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist here. And I'll just let you guys watch. And now that I have applied my large pieces of glitter, I'm going to dig into the bottom of my little glitter jar and I'm going to look for the tiny pieces of glitter and I'm just going to fill in all of the blank spots. I'm not going to fill it in all the way. I want some of the nail to be see-through. So yeah, I'll just let you guys watch again. <laughs> And once you are done placing your glitters all over your nail, don't forget to stick it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and this will help your glitters stay in place and they won't go anywhere, mama. Now I'm going to grab my clear poly gel and I'm going to squeeze a, a nice amount on my nail so that we could seal our little glitter design. Thank you. 
And now I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to dip it into my base coat and then I'm going to get to patting. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my purple nail. I'm going to start at the cuticle. I'm going to pat, 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 and then I'm going to lightly drag. However, um, I do want to let you guys know that if you guys are a beginner at poly gel, I definitely recommend that you guys use base coat as a slip solution. I feel that if I were to have used base coat when I started off using poly gel, I would have liked it much better because to be honest, I don't really like poly gel because of how sticky it is. I hate the texture that it leaves on my hands. It drives me insane. Like you don't even know. It gives me like sensory overload and I just get angry and vale smash, Valeria destroy you know what i mean <laughs> i hate the stickiness but with the uh with the base coat for some reason it gives me so much better control and the poly gel doesn't get stuck all over the place and little strings of the poly gel don't get stuck on my brush so thank you so so much to everybody that recommended a base coat to me it's honestly going to be my go-to now i'm not going to use anything else other than base coat as my slip solution Okay, and once I'm done adding my first layer of clear poly gel over my glitter design, I'm going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And then when I take it out, I'm going to do a second layer of poly gel. And I don't know if you guys notice, but my cuticle area is really, really thin. So I'm going to try to add more poly gel around my cuticle area to create a little bit more of an apex. Okay, now that my nail is out of the lamp, I'm going to take my nail file and I'm going to file the sides and then I'm going to buff the top to make my nail nice and smooth, aka smooth. <laughs> I don't want to confuse any of y'all. Now that I'm done filing with my purple file, I'm going to go over everything with my purple buffing block to give everything a extra smooth finish. And now I'm going to clean my nail to get rid of any excess dust and oils. And now I am ready to add clear top coat over my nail. So here's my top coat, and I'm going to add a nice, thick, juicy coat over my nail. Then I'm going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds, and voila, friend, our nail should be done. Also, don't forget to clean around your nail if you have any excess gel nail polish on your skin or anything like that. I'm using uh, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to clean up any excess gel polish. <laughs> okay, and now that we are done with the confetti nails, I want to show you how I created this groovy, swirly um, design on my nails. So I'm going to be uh, using uh, my favorite baby blue. This is by Nail Addict LA and it's called Another Glass. I've used this color quite a bit on my channel. And and then I'm going to be grabbing like a ballpoint type of like pen design. This is a crystal pickup tool by Jenny Secret, but it hella broke. <laughs> and I'm going to grab a little bit of the blue. I'm going to put it in a little container. And with my crystal pen using the metal ballpoint part i'm gonna start drawing my little squiggles like so i don't really have a specific pattern in mind i'm just gonna follow my soul and <laughs> do whatever squiggles i want i've been seeing squiggle designs slash 70s spiral designs all over the place all over instagram so i was really inspired to create some squiggle abstract nails myself i even found like the perfect 70s playlist to play in the background while i was creating these nails it hella helped me get in the mood and i was having a good old funky and groovy time it's called all out 70s i found it on spotify and i hella recommend that you play it while creating swirly groovy 70s nails it hella got me in the mood and i was having such a good time to be honest it's a little bit of a dated playlist it's like a little bit of a mix of something that i will listen to and something that my dad will listen to so it has some funky songs on it but then it has like some old timey songs that like i just have like no business listening to because <laughs> i don't like them well yeah i recommend the playlist either way i hope you guys like it and if you guys do let me know in the comment section down below <laughs>
Okay, and now that I'm done doing my little swirlies or my little abstract lines on my little, what is it, my middle finger? Was it my, yeah, my middle finger. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work on my thumb really quick. And then I'm going to stick it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And now that our nails are out, uh, let's seal our design with a nice juicy layer of clear gel nail top coat. Wow, friend, these nails are looking nice already. To be honest, I'll be happy with them just like this. But you guys already know that I'm extra AF and we have to kick it up a notch. And I'm going to use the glue and I'm going to use the glue gel. And I'm also going to be adding these um, 3D gems. I can't find the link to these on my Amazon account for some weird old reason. So I will try my best to look for them. But I will also be linking like alternative gems. And I'm going to start off by using my brush and dipping it into the thick gel. And I was a little worried at first because I thought this uh, glue wouldn't compare to my Jenny Secret glue. But this glue is absolutely amazing to you guys. I know the Jenny Secret Crystal glue could be a little pricey. So this is an awesome alternative as well. I really like the consistency. And I love how it held my 3D um, extra large gems, friend. Like as soon as I place them on my nail, look stuck it's up and it's up and it's up and it's stuck okay let me shut up before i get copyrighted <laughs> well yeah look how awesome all i did was just pick them up and put them in the glue just like so i don't really recommend that you guys do this i recommend that you guys move them around with some tweezers or something uh, i don't really recommend that you guys use your fingers because you do not want to develop a nail allergy over time so i suggest using the tweezers do not use your fingers friends Once I'm done placing my gems, I flash cured them with my little weird dolphin lamp that I got. The one that I showed you guys earlier from my haul. And this held my gems pretty good. I set them for like about 60 seconds and the gems are set really well. But after I'm done flash curing them, once I'm done setting all of my gems, I'm actually going to stick them in my big UV lamp to make sure that they're 100% set. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into my round AB flat back gems. I also got them from Amazon as well. And I will also be dipping into these multi-shaped AB crystals as well. And instead of using the gel, this time I'm going to be using the glue. And fortunately, you don't need a brush for this glue. This glue, you could just squeeze it right out of the tube onto your nail, which is pretty awesome. But friend, I recommend that you don't squeeze too hard or else a big old fat blob is going <laughs> to squeeze onto your nail. And you don't want that. Um, I'm speaking from experience and now i'm going to grab this small kite i'm going to stick it in between uh, my gems right here and then i'm going to grab this other flat back crystal right here and i think this is the last multi-shaped flat back crystal that i'm going to use and now i'm going to dip into my small round ab's and i'm going to be using the same size of round ab's i'm not going to be using different sizes and i totally forgot the size that i'm using right now i am so sorry friend but it is the second to smallest size in the kit that i bought from amazon and this little bling kit that i purchased i will be linking it down in the description box below and i am just going to be filling the lower half of my nail with my bling and i don't really have a particular design in mind i'm just gonna flow with it and i'm just gonna let you guys watch Okay, and once you're done placing all of your gems, wow, this looks so very pretty. I love it. Well, anyways, once you're done, <laughs> once you're done placing your gems, don't forget to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna work on my other nail really fast.
Okay, I'm back. And look how pretty. I did the same thing that I did on the other nail. I didn't do anything different. But once I'm done placing it in the UV lamp, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean it off with some isopropyl alcohol. And look how shiny they look once you're done cleaning them down. I love this bling for it. And it looks even better in natural lighting. Look at this. This is me outside in my front yard. It's so freaking gorgeous. Bling, 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 bling. Okay, now let's add more bling. So as you guys can see, when I showed you guys the final results, I had a bling around my squiggles. And I tried using the McCart glue without the brush, but I needed a little bit more control. So I went and I got my uh, trusty Jenny Secret Crystal Gel Pen because I needed a little bit more control, a little bit more precision. And I am going to be outlining my little squiggles like so. I'm just going to be lightly outlining them. Try not to put too much glue, friend, because uh, the glue can go all over your nail and you do not want that messiness and i'm gonna grab these tiny little gems right here and i'm just gonna be outlining my squiggle with them like so bloop I'll place a gem then place another gem and yeah like so and i'm gonna let you guys watch And once I'm done outlining my little squiggle abstract line, I'm going to set it with my little dolphin line. Or my little dolphin line. I mean my dolphin lamp. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to set my gems with this like for my final cure. I'm going to cure it in my big lamp, in my big UV lamp once I'm done blinging everything out. Because I don't really trust lamps that are under 30 watts to set my gems. I don't know. Maybe it's just a me thing. I feel like 80 watts and higher will set your gems better than a 30 watt does that make sense i don't know maybe it's a me thing <laughs> well yeah but i'm gonna set my gems for sure for my final cure under my big lamp and by big lamp i mean my 180 watt uv lamp if you guys are curious as to what lamp i use on the regular degular i will be linking it down in the description box below i also got it from amazon And this is what my middle finger is looking like so far. I love it. I love the bling. It's so freaking cute. I love the blinged out squiggles. And I'm going to do my pinky and then I'm going to do my thumb. And voila, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Like I mentioned earlier, I put my hand in my big pink lamp, my 180 watt to set my gems. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my favorite mango cuticle oil. I got this from Sally's and I'm just going to be putting it in my cuticles and I'm going to be rubbing it in to make sure that my nails underneath grow nice and healthy, even though I still bite them. Girl. <laughs> Who am I lying to? Myself. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put cuticle oil on my cuticles. Massage it in. And wow, friend, look at those nails. Yes, mama. And thank you so, 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 so freaking much to everybody that recommended base coat. Like base coat as a slip solution is an absolute game changer. I feel like if you are a beginner at poly gel, definitely use base coat as a slip solution. I beg of you. Just try it out.
If you don't like it, you don't like it. But you will like it. Trust me. I know I loved it. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I know next time I use poly gel, I'm going to be using base coat. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the McCart poly gel kits. My first time trying a McCart poly gel kit was when I purchased the Emily Susanna poly gel kit. And I was obsessed with that kit as well. It's beautiful. I love how beautifully the colors blended. Same here even though i didn't really blend any colors this time <laughs> but the colors laid down perfectly especially with the base coat so i literally give the mccart um kit a 10 out of 10 the only thing though the only thing that i will complain about only thing the only thing is the brush i don't know why but i feel like the brush uh leaves a little like leaves a lot of little black hairs in my nails and i found myself picking out the black hairs out of my nails but other than that i love the kit and i have nothing else to complain about i just didn't like picking out the little hairs out of my nails because i feel like it ruined uh the nail i had to flatten it down all over again and it was just a whole process i think i'm probably just gonna try to go to michael's and i'm gonna try to look for like a painter brush like an actual painting brush uh to see if i could find one like a good quality brush that you know the hairs won't get pulled out when i work with poly gel because i'm tired of picking out the little hairs i don't like them but yeah and i also liked everything else that i purchased from mccart as well i love the little dolphin lamp and i love the glue the glue was very very like i i wasn't expecting that i wasn't expecting for me to fall in love with the glue i have been wearing these nails for like about a week now and none of the gems have fallen off well some of the little uh the small gems on the swirlies just the ones on the edges because i do try to open coca-cola cans <laughs> coca-cola cans in my nails and the nails do fly off but other than that the 3d gems and everything like that there's they're on there girl they're not coming off um so i really really do love the mccart glue and i appreciate how um inexpensive it is as well well, well, okay, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Then thank you for hanging out with me to the very end. I appreciate you with all my heart. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. And I would also like to say thank you to everybody that sent me um, well wishes on my new move. Thank you guys so much. I am settling in. And so far, we are still painting. We are lagging on the painting. <laughs> I will show you guys how I decorate later on in the future. But for now, your girl is painting. Thank you so, so much again. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I really do, friend. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.